komm, komm. Rabbi, this place. Respectfully, Rabbi, why did you bring us here? It's an abomination. <laughs> That's a pretty strong word, Andrew. Rabbi, during Shiva? Should we avoid dark places out of fear? Or should we be light to them? Like Simon and Judas were on their mission. Do you think my cousin would be afraid of this cave? Do you think he would be so appalled by what happens in that temple over there that he couldn't stand to be in this place? Who do people say the Son of Man is? Some say you are Elijah, the one who preaches repentance. Hmm. Others say Jeremiah, because he was rejected by the leaders of his time. And still others say one of the prophets, those that spoke on God's behalf. Okay, wh what are we gonna have to do, huh? Cast lots? Nathaniel, this is your moment. Be yourself. Some say John the Baptizer. Which obviously isn't true. Okay. Well, that's everyone else. But who do you say that I am? You? You are the Christ. The son of the living God. These carved statues of Baal and Pan and other idols that we passed, they're dead and decaying, but we worship a living God, and you... You are his son. Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. All your life, you've been called Simon, one who hears. But today, I call you Peter. It is on this rock that I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a place of death, and I brought you here to tell you that death has no power to hold my redeemed people captive. Because I live, you also will live. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You have the authority to declare the truth to others that I am declaring to you. That the repentant have a place in the kingdom of heaven. You have confessed that I am the Christ. And you will influence many others to make the same confession in time. But I will explain more later. For now, you must all keep this quiet. I strictly charge you not to tell anyone. Rabbi, some already know that you are the Messiah. Why keep this silent now? In some places, for some people, it was important that they know and believe. But right now, if all our people of this region hear the Messiah has come, they will rise up in multitudes 
preparing to join a military figure in war against Rome. I want people to follow me based on my true identity. Like Peter here. Not based on their misguided understanding of the title I hold. Teacher, our people are ready to believe in you and fight with you. Why else bring us to this place of death? If not to defeat it, that will come in time. I brought you here to honor John by showing you what he was here to do. He was preparing the way for this, for me to build my church, a church that will never be stopped, even in a place like this. John was fearless of evil and obedient everywhere. And so must you be, even at the gates of hell. Are you ready to follow in his footsteps? And mine. Even if that leads you to a place like this. That is all. We should be going. I'll get that for you later, James. Peter. 